Hi guys, welcome to this week's episode of The Prediction Show on the Rugby Revolution in conjunction with Superbrew. Uh, you'll find all the details of our leagues below the video. Quite a late stage in the tournament, but I'm doing badly enough that you can probably still catch me if you feel like joining up. Uh, if you've got any thoughts about anything that I have to say either, then do drop us a comment below the video. Right, first up this week, we've got Ireland versus Italy in Dublin. Ireland have been pretty rubbish this Six Nations, it's fair to say. They're the worst attacking team, they've only scored two tries. Conversely, Italy, the worst defensive team, they've conceded 11. I've picked Ireland to win by six on Super Brew. I don't think they're going to run away with it as they have in recent years. I think it's pretty much going to be a repeat of the, the, the World Cup game where they won by seven. If you're looking at some fantasy players to put in your team, um, Ireland's Robbie Henshaw, he's pretty much the only player so far in their back line that's really showed any kind of attacking spark. He's made 171 metres in his carries so far, which is pretty impressive. For Italy, it's a little bit dull, a little bit obvious, but Sergio Parise, consistently top of the stats for them. He's made, he averages over four metres a carry, which is very impressive when you consider he's carrying in the tight exchanges. Right, next up, we've got the big one, England against Wales at Twickenham. Probably the title decider, the way the championship's looking at the moment. I've picked England by three on Super Brew. I mean, it's essentially flipper coin time. Uh, they've, they've both got a few big runners, Billy Vanapola, Jamie Roberts. It's going to come down to which one of these guys is stopped better behind the gain line and which one can consistently get over that. There's probably going to be a lot of kicking. So with that in mind, if you're looking to your fancy team, I'd probably either go Dan Bigger or Owen Farrell this week as your kicker. Personally, I'd back Dan Bigger. He was the hero in Wales's World Cup win at Twickenham. There's no reason to think that he won't be able to do that again. For England, George Cruz has been one of their standout players. Uh, he's very aggressive in the tackle, rarely goes backwards in the carry. High work rate, he'd be a great pick. And last up on Sunday, we've got Scotland against France at Murrayfield. Now, I've picked Scotland to win by nine, which seems like quite a big margin, given that, astonishingly, they haven't actually beaten France since 2006. Ever the optimist, though, I think this is going to come down to whether France can drag Scotland down to their level, pull them into an arm wrestle. I think if Scotland can avoid doing that and play the game that they really want to play, spread the ball out wide a bit, we know how dangerous their backs can be, I think they can win and win reasonably comfortably. In terms of guys that you might be looking for for your fancy team, Johnny Gray of Scotland, he's had a brilliant tournament so far. Incredibly, he's made 48 tackles without missing a single one. That just goes to show how brilliant that side of his game is. For France, there have not been too many standout performers, but in the absence of Louis Picamol, Damien Chouli has picked up a lot of the slack in terms of the carrying. He'll be sure to probably make some metres. Not a bad shout if you're looking to get a Frenchman into your back row. Let's take a look at the top of the leaderboards in our pools. In the Predictor League, it's still George Hawes out in front. Congrats to you, George. Let's uh, see if you can keep it going. Quick mention to Matt, who's plummeted down the leaderboard. Sorry about that. And top of our fancy leaderboard, again, the same guy as it was last time, Peter Dutoy and his massive preeners. Well done, Peter. Once again, we're all bombing, but keep going, Peter. Right, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you've seen and you don't want to miss any of our videos in future, then click to subscribe. If you had any thoughts on the video, drop a comment below. If not, we'll see you next time.